This right here is made by Alpaca Gear. It is their Go Sling Mini version one. I wanna go ahead and review this and a few of their other products. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name's Matt. This is Dwyer Creatives and today we're going over a few of Alpaca Gear products. All three of these products here that I'm gonna be going over are my EDC items. I've been carrying them for about a year down to nine months for the newest one. These are again, my EDC items. So I'm wearing them pretty much every single day, especially for things like this right here, which is my wallet. Let's start with this bag right here. This is made by Alpaca Gear. And again, this is their Ghostling Mini. This is in VX21, it was a limited edition, and it is their first gen, which they currently have a second gen with a few little changes. Now, for me, the reason that I picked this up was the V20X. I really like how it is really durable. It's relatively weatherproof because of what I put in it. I do want to have some of that ability. It's light, it's not huge, and it's been holding up really great since I got it. This does have the Y2KK, I believe that's what it is, AquaGuard zippers and over time you will see that they're not as effective so this is about a year and they look pretty good they've been holding up i haven't had any issues with water getting into these bags so for me that's a very good plus as you can see here on the outside with this vx21 you are getting little tiny like nicks in the patterns i've been using this pretty much every single day so for amount that i use it on especially like the bottom not a whole lot there, but you can see a little bit. It's been holding up really well. On the backside, uh, different material that's held up. There's no marks on there at all. In terms of the straps, they've been working out pretty well. I do have a minor grievance with the way that these are set up. For me, I just leave them like this because they end up sliding like that. They don't hold really any other position. And then uh, over here on the side, you can see some of the stitching slowly coming undone. For me, with the amount of time that I've had with this product, that's really minor. I would like to have seen that and maybe not come undone because look on the other side, I don't have that issue. I have other bags like I'll use my Mystery Ranch Urban Salt bag. I've had that for four or five years and I haven't had any issues with that. And that was one of my EDC bags for a long time. And I stuffed that thing full and abused the crap out of it. Now, the other really minor thing with this bag, if you have the zipper, right? And you can put these on either end for this example. Sometimes when you have them wide open or you zip it to that side, some reason, it's kind of hard to get out of there. So that's my only little minor gripe with that is sometimes the zippers get stuck on the side. Now, before we go into the main pocket, front pocket, Everything's held up. You have two little pockets, the main pocket, a little key change thing, right? This is held up great. Uh, I keep a little o light on here. In this pocket, I'll keep like little tiny things like you saw, a little multi-tool that I always keep on me and then a little flashlight. I keep my pens and stuff in here and a few other minor things. So this pocket is held up great. Haven't had any issues with it. Backside, same thing. I don't really go in here too much. I keep a few things in here, backup knife, um pair of tweezers because you never know that's actually come in handy those metal splinters or wooden sprint splinters little lock pick and then sometimes i'll keep my spare chopsticks in there right now they're at the bottom of the main compartment so for the main compartment something that i've kind of had to get used to which isn't a huge deal for me but as you can see like when i have a lot of stuff in here it does hold its shape and sits up well when it's more on the empty side and wants to fall over so it's just one of those things that uh, if you have stuff in here a little weight it holds its shape if it doesn't then it tends to fall over now for me i've been switching between a few different things i usually keep this camera right here this is my fujifilm x106 in here uh, lately i've been trading that out for my ray-ban metas and sometimes i can fit them both but it is super tight that's one thing that I've been trying to figure out if I want to upgrade to a little bit bigger so I can carry everything because when I'm out and about, I do like to have my options with cameras. And it's one of those things that I've always said, the best cameras that have one you have on you. I don't want to default to my phone. I love having this Fuji camera on me. With the Ray-Ban Metas, I like to have the case with me. I like to keep any of my glasses if I carry them in a case, just in case. And that goes the same for like my eyeglasses. Maybe I'm having a bad day, think I'll need them. I can't really fit my eyeglasses in here. So I just keep a few other things, um, a little wipe in here. The Apaca hub pouch with the hook and loop. We'll get into that in just a second. 
And then, you know, like I said, I got chopsticks, power bank, uh, drink thing, tissues, earbuds. Um, I got some suntan lotion, contact solution, and spare pair of contact case. Something that I like about a lot of these bags is they do like this high vis interior, so you can really see everything that's in there, even in like lower visibility. Of course, I have that little flashlight I can use. I have one on my keys, and then I keep one on the front pocket. But I just like having that it helps a little bit in terms of space with everything. Like I said, I'm able to fit majority of my products in here 90 percent of the time. Sometimes I do wish it was a little bit bigger, so maybe I'll be looking to get a little bit bigger bag for those days. I like having like my essentials, and then I like carrying my Fujifilm X100 6. Now the Ray-Ban Meta is with me, and then also the camera that I'm using for my top down right here, which is the Oswald's Pocket 3. Fitting all that in here is definitely a no-go, so I usually have to pick between two of them. Not a huge deal, but just something to know. But then again, for a shoulder bag, I don't want to weigh it down too much. So this has been a really good size for that. And overall, I would highly recommend this bag. I really enjoy it, using it. Uh, one other minor thing, now that I think about it. Not a huge deal, but I kind of like putting patches on things, as you can see here. Kind of wish maybe there could have been an option to get one with Velcro so I could swap it out but I kind of found an alternative solution for that and still go ahead and click it on. Overall with this bag, I'm very happy with and I would highly recommend them. Definitely check them out. I bought all three of these directly from them and shipping from overseas, it didn't take that long. The sling did take a little bit longer. I think there was some sort of delayed and they gave me a credit for that, which I think I ended up picking this pouch up with that. But overall, you know, shipping was pretty fine. I didn't have any issues with it. I didn't need it immediately. I was just trying it out. So if you're looking for a sling bag, definitely check out Alpaga. I would highly recommend them. The amount of wear and tear that this has shown for the past year as my EDC bag is relatively minimal. And it's still gonna be something that I carry with me. And it's one of those things that, you know, I can rely on if I'm out in the elements, it does have that aqua guard zipper to help protect what's inside it. And overall, it's been a really great bag. So let's put this to the side and move on to one of these two. Now, I believe I've had this for about 10 months and this one for nine months. This is their hub pouch with the hook and loop and this is their Zip Pro pouch. Let's start with this one. I've been using this as my wallet. Right here on the front, you have an extra little slot if you wanna put a little tool in there. I don't keep anything in here, but I mean, if you wanted to, you could. Here is my microtech kind of to show you I mean, you could use this as like a night pocket or stick a little tool in there or a pen same thing for the back side you have two more spots again you could stick whatever you want kind of in there i don't use those personally in terms of the wear and tear this is my wallet this is what i've been using every day since i got it it's been in and out of my pocket every single day since i got it sometimes i'll throw it on my bag but majority of the time this is in my pocket in terms of durability this has held up really great as you can see like there's minimal wear and tear if any same thing as like uh my sling you do have a little of those little marks on the outside but overall especially living in the south right it gets hot down here in the south not as hot where I used to live, but it still gets pretty hot. And definitely this has seen a lot of my sweat in my pocket. Can't help it. I mean, it's the South. What do you expect? I haven't had any issues with it going through. Now, supposedly this is RFID blocking too. I'm not sure if that works, but I haven't had any issues with my card. So maybe it does work. Who knows? Now here in the front pocket, I just keep cash. I got like one bill in there right now. Super simple, can fit a bunch of them in there. So from the main pocket, I carry a bunch of different cards, a uh, key card to get into my complex, and then everything else that I need. And I split them into two different categories because they have a little divider right there which helps out. All this has worked well, never had an issue. If you're kind of looking for a sleek, kind of minimalist, not as minimalist as like a clip, but this works really well for a minimal style wallet. Definitely check this out. Highly recommend it. Might even pick up another one in a different color. Who knows? We'll see. And again, this does have that like high vis, and I love that high vis. Makes it a little bit easier to see what's in here. Now for the last item here is going to be the hook and lube hub pouch. Take these off real quick. As you can see, there is a Velcro panel in here. Throw on your favorite patches. Right now, I have these two on. I've had these on for a while. I pretty much keep that on here. Sometimes I'll swap them out. So for here, you have 
again like the hook and loop and then the back I haven't had any issues with any wear and tear on this I don't use it too often but I do use it here and there now on the front you have this little pocket let's see what I have in here oh so I have a bit in here I really don't use this front pocket at all as you can see I didn't even know what that was in there but I got a little bit now for the main compartment here let's open this up inside it has a little organization for it so I got a few extra bits here got a set a cobra pliers I have my donut olight shout out to my friend who picked that up for me what do you think about people that match their sets I've been thinking about trying to make an entire donut set I haven't decided that yet right so then I have a mini wrench again uh, these tools do come in handy here and there and then a little screwdriver now these were converted and done by EDC outlaw so if you're looking for that definitely check out his page and as I said, you know, these are just little EDC tools that I use here and there. I did use these like the other day when I was doing an install on my truck. Needed the screwdriver and this worked out perfectly. Now, in terms of organization, you have a little bit here, right? So right here on the front, you have two elastics here. You have three elastics on this side. And then in the back, you have a double slot back here. And then you have a single large pocket on this side and for me i just like keeping my tools organized so this helps me do that there's minimal wear and tear on this those hold its shape pretty well and it is super compact so if you're looking for something like this a uh, hub pouch highly recommended they have a bunch of different colors they have just a plain one without the hook and loop definitely worth picking up i'll probably end up picking up a few more of these just to keep my stuff organized so there you go that's my review on the alpaca sling Go Mini version one, the hub pouch with the hook and loop, and then there is it pro pouch that I use as my wallet. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.